So then, we've got a small update regarding the final season part 3. Shut up and sit down. Yo, what's good to support you, the views? And of course, we all know that Attack on Titan, the final season part 3, will premiere sometime in 2023. And despite not getting a release date or PV trailer as yet, we do have some comments regarding what to expect in the final season part 3. And these comments were translated by the Twitter page Attack on Fans, where the main tweet says that today at the Japan Expo 2022, there was a MARPA conference where Manabi Otsusuka, Hiroshi Seiko, and Shui. Yabata made some comments about AOT Final Season Part 3. So then, let's dive deep into these comments. What does Manabu Otsusuki, the executive producer, say? When we were working on the Final Season Part 1, we saw the end of the manga and the last battle. We lost hope because we didn't know how we were going to adapt that final fight. However, we want to finish working on the anime despite the difficulties. After all, the whole team is committed and determined to complete it to the end. So it looks like that, of course, the main staff at MAPA were definitely struggling to try and adapt that final arc. And as all you manga readers know, that final arc has a lot of action in. So props to the studio for really being committed and determined to adapt such a daunting final arc. But the next two comments is where we do get a little bit of a teaser as to what to expect for part 3. Hiroshi Seiko, screenplay writer, says, I think the change of studio between Wit Studio and MAPA was good because it represented a change in the direction of the work. In the part 3, I want to continue conveying the feeling of despair. We are coming to the end after 10 years. There have been many changes in the team, but I'm happy to come to the end of the story. So it does look like that they still want to be very faithful to what Isayama did in the manga because there's a lot of gore and really distressing scenes. So of course they want to perfectly translate that into anime form without censoring anything hopefully. And the third and last comment is by Shue Yabata, CGI supervisor. I was nervous when I heard that Wit Studio had dropped out, but I felt reassured when I learned that the project would be with MAPA. At first, I wasn't interested in converting Titans to CGI, but Tetsuro Araki, former AOT director, allowed me to adapt and work on it. In the part 3, there are more Titans, so we have to make a more stable CGI, but thanks to the talent of the team, we are able to handle it for sure. This is a really interesting comment, just reading it. So it looks like that AOT Season 1 director, the dude who made Attack on Titan what it is today, gave his blessing to the CGI supervisor in making the Titans in CGI. I do find it interesting that the CGI dude didn't actually want the Titans to be CGI, and my heart truly does go out to the hard-working staff at MARPA for really doing a damn good job with part one considering the fact that they were feeling pretty damn nervous. I mean any studio would feel nervous dude. So despite there being more CGI Titans in part three, they will have a more stable workflow regarding what they're going to do with the CGI Titans which does have me pretty confident that the MARPA team are going to really make this final part three pretty amazing in terms of refining their CGI work. But yeah, tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of this part three update. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you like the comments or not by the MARPA staff? Tell me. Like this video, subscribe for more Attack on Titan reactions, reviews, comparisons, breakdowns, rankings, news updates and more. Stay tuned for TV vs Blu-ray of the final season part two coming sometime next week. But with that said, thank you for watching and as always, a board of the view signing out.